Somebody told me these are the only presents we have. We put them under the tree and wait for the night for Christmas and open them then all together. Many, many of the recipients of, of, of these boxes would not have anything for Christmas or Christmas is not really how I perceive or, or we perceive uh, Christmas. So when they are receiving a shoebox, that really means something. Many of them, they live in such poverty and they have never received any kind of gift. Especially to a child, a, a toy, a new toy means the world. It's, this is mine, this is some, something that somebody gave to me and I get to keep this. I remember one family, the parents were more happy than the children because in the boxes there were hats and gloves and scarf that their children needed, they could not afford to buy. A box with goodies that they've never seen or brands that they don't see in Romania or a hat or, or a, a, a pair of gloves is, is, can really make their day. It is not going to solve the problem of poverty. It's just a gift that, that provides joy and happiness. And if that means a toothbrush and a shampoo and some extra stuff that would make some, someone's face light up at the end of the day, I think it's um, incredible. <laughs> surprising that someone uh, far away from you cares and would, would send you a present. Reactions are very different, but all of them express this joy. One girl especially, she had to go to hospital and uh, her mother said she doesn't have a pyjama and uh, in the box uh, it was a pyjama, exactly her number. One effect that Blasud has had over time is that people have uh, now been encouraged uh, to emulate that, to do it for their own people. It's really good to see that children that have, that have received for many years shoeboxes now themselves they um, uh, do shoeboxes for other children in, in Romania. Often you would say, you know, five minutes or uh, 20 minutes happiness, does it really make a difference? <laughs> Three years ago we happened to, we, we, we've spent the Christmas Eve in the hospital with our two children. And it was, I must say, it was a miserable night or the worst Christmas I ever had until the moment when a group of, of uh, uh, a group of young folk from a local church walked into the hall of the, of the hospital and they started singing Christmas carols and just giving out shoeboxes. I mean, you know, tears were coming out of everybody's eyes and lots of parents and with their children and just seeing something happening in, the, in this miserable place. I've realized I've been doing this for so many years, but I've, I never, I was not the recipient, but that night I was the recipient and it made, made it worth, I mean, Tears come to my eye uh, just thinking of that experience. Thank you for supporting the shoebox appeal. It is making a real difference to the lives of those who have nothing. If you're able to give us a shoebox this year, we will ensure that it goes to somebody in great need and will bring great joy and happiness to those who have nothing. It brings joy to someone at the other end of the world the things you put inside really do bring out uh, joy and smiles and hope in people's hearts. It is a great joy for the children here and not only for children. Personally, I just want to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to see the smile and the happiness 
on the faces of children and their families when receiving these shoeboxes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah!